2018, Spider-Man PS4 was released. And people people loved it, man. They loved the music, the story, New York City, ex all of that. Great Spider-Man games have come out before, but all of them feel like they're missing something. I don't know what that something is, but Insomniac figured it out. I felt it. But it's not 2018 anymore. The PS5 was released. DLC for the game was released. Uh, the Miles game dropped. The pandemic came and went. A lot has changed since then. And this new Spider-Man is a product of that. Everything that has happened this fall leads into the game. For example, like all the technological stuff, you feel me? Consoles, PCs, all that. You know, technology has advanced. So we get stuff like better graphics, faster load time for the PS5, stuff like that. Uh, a bigger map, two Spider-Mans, like a GTA. It's a sequel, bro. You feel me? It's, a, it's what a sequel is supposed to be now don't think things are sweet this new spider-man has a bit of a darker tone like spider-man has always had stuff to deal with like being spider-man has always sucked to an extent you feel me? but this time i don't know man they just like a lot of punches not so f much for miles because miles loses his dad in every story but that's tough he has to deal with that he has this whole school thing he's spider-man da -da -da -da, right peter also like Man, Peter can't catch a break, bro. First is Ben, then me. It's like, bro, that's tough. And also, like, he has to, like, babysit, babysit Miles kind of low-key, you feel me? Let's keep it a buck. Like, yeah, he does, you feel me? And on top of that, there's Venoms, all these different... It's just tough, bro. It's just tough. But let me know what you think in the comment section below. And while you're down there, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. The intro song is in the description. And I'll see you, Space Cowboy. Peace.